peeps, it's Gents, and today we are going to be giving you a short tutorial about command blocks, because I know there aren't many beginner's tutorials out there. Now, I'm not saying I'm great with command blocks, I'm quite a beginner myself, but I'm going to be showing you one way that I like using command blocks, because it's how I use them a lot. So first, to get yourself a command block, most people will probably know this. You need to type, you need to press T, and then you need to go slash give shift at S command block, and then and then you will see that you have a that it gives you a command block. Now the thing about command blocks is there are three different types. There's the impulse. There is let me just switch it over here. The chain command block and the repeat command block. Now, oh, the repeat command block does exactly what you think it would, and that's the one we're going to be using today. The Im the impulse command block just does it does a command that you take it and does it once when you apply a redstone signal. And the chain command block, you see this mm. arrow. Well, that's what's pointing into it. So if I put a, if I do, I'll just make a simple chain command block creation. The arrow has to be pointing into the chain command block for the chain command block to do anything. Now, so I've got mm. one. So I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. I'm going to just summon a pig. Pig. And then I'll do a cow in the chain. Now, you'll see. That when I give it that when I give it a redstone signal, if I get a button here, let me get a button. The pig that I put in this impulse command block and this cow, because the arrow is going towards this one, will appear. See? Pig, cow, pig, cow. Mm. Now, I'm gonna be showing you that command that I just did. So that is the slash summon command. So you're going to type in slash summon. And then you're going to want the animal of choice. So let's say wolf. You want, so let's say you want a dog. So you type in wolf. There's your dog. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. Um, I, so now I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build all the way up to block height that's what we need to do oh, and then we're going to place a command block and then when we've got to block height we're going to break one block and place a command block there which means we're going and we're going to allow it to rain a certain animal that you put in with using the slash summon command this is how I like to use the slash summon command. There, we've got to 256 blocks. Now we're going to break one and put a command block there. Look, see? We still can't pre press anything else. So, if we go into the command block, you're going to want to switch it to repeat. And then you say slash summon space. And then you put your, th your um, you know, like animal of choice. So I'm going to say salmon. So then we're going, we've got a repeat command block. So then we're going to want to get a lever and put it on the side of the repeat command block. Now I do recommend building out some blocks for this because it can be quite hard to do. Now you're going to want to get rid of this whole tower and all of this. So let's get rid of that. Now, we need to get all the way back up there. <laughs> I should have set a command block that TPs us up there. But hey. So, if we get all the way back up there to world height. The reason you all want to do it at world height is is to get the full effect of it. bit of it, like, raining animals. So then, if we go all the way up. You will, let, you will now see that when I flick this lever, a load of salmon starts spewing out. That is how I often use command blocks. This is also great for mob farms because look, we've had this going like 
two seconds and there's already I've already been able to get a stack and eight of salmon. That is how fast things can come down. So I'm actually gonna go and turn it off now. I normally, I often use Elytra for this because it's just easy. And I find it faster. And then you can see, look, there's just, just how many fish this thing turns out. So that is a basic way to use a command block and it's extremely fun. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe and ring that bell, of course. I know everybody says, says that on YouTube videos and I'll see I'll see you again next time.